guys, what's up? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and you're back with me in the apartment. In this special presentation video, we're going to be taking a look at Wave 3 of Nintendo's Amiibo. Yes, Hoon is going to be taking us through the history, the pricing, the rarities, cool stories, and overall collecting the Amiibo. Again, he's indebted in it. He was loved doing these videos. There's a special, um, you know, actually not special, but there's a huge demand that a lot of people are saying, hey, Steve, cool, you know, cool set asking who new questions and whatnot and one or more. So keep all the comments coming. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free, it's two seconds, and there's going to be just more videos coming out, better videos and all. And not only that, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out the arcade videos, please do so. It might be new to, new to you. It might be something that you haven't really looked in the past, but please do. It's the history of arcades and history of gaming in general. Uh, but with that, again, let's get you in to the living room, out of the arcade for now, and let's talk to Huna about Amiibo. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. Again, we're back in the living room and back with Huna. We're going to be looking at the Amiibo Wave 3, the complete set. Huna's going to be taking us through uh, pretty much Wave 3, so take, uh, take it from here, Huna. What's going on? Hi, Hoon uh, I'm Hunda. Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade, uh, talking about Amiibo Wave 3 today. So. Amiibo Wave 3, Nintendo decides to throw another curveball to us um, just to make us a little bit more crazy and build up some more, some more of that extra um, uh, false uh, demand for these things. Now this time around, uh, Wave 3 included a lot more Amiibo than Wave 2, um, but what they decided to do is make some of the Amiibo exclusive to certain retailers. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that Nintendo hasn't been very good about announcing the actual release dates. So people don't know, even know when these things are supposed to come out. So, okay, so now we don't know if we're going to be able to get them. Then we don't know when they're coming. And then we don't know if some of them are going to be even harder to get because they're exclusive to certain retailers. Um, I did manage to get all four exclusive Wave 3 Amiibo. But uh, let me just uh, show you what they are first. So, uh, in Wave 3... We've got the classic Mega Man, uh, not to be confused with Mega Man X. Uh, we've got King DDD. This was a very rare one. Uh, people are still trying to get this one. I love the detail on this one, like around the edges of his uh, his little uh, I don't know what's like a robe. Uh, it looks like it's like puffy and like feathery. It's not, but it looks that way, and I thought that was really cool. Um, Let's uh, got King Bowser. Uh, also, I really like the detail on this one. Uh, Weight-wise, this is one of the heaviest amiibo that I've got so far. Uh, when we get to the Super Mario Brothers amiibo, uh, I'll show you that the other ones are actually uh, even bigger in size. I think again, I think that's a marketing thing. I'll touch touch on that a bit later. Sonic the Hedgehog. So interesting, and uh, this is something that I thought about when I was a little kid. I was like, imagine if Nintendo and Sega went together and they were going to make something. Well, look, now we've got a Sonic the Hedgehog made by Nintendo. It says Nintendo Amiibo right on the bottom. I think it's awesome that something that I only imagined when I was a kid actually happened. Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, we've got Toon Link. So in Wave 1, there was regular Link. Now we've got Toon Link. So this is uh, from Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And we've got Sheik. Sheik was also uh, pretty easy to find, uh, not too difficult. Um, I'm going to say that uh, in here, King DDD is definitely uh, the hardest one to find out of this group so far. Um, Ike from Fire Emblem, also a little bit difficult to find, but uh, uh, I thought he was pretty good. The detail on Ike is really good too, I like that. And down to the four exclusives. So. In Canada, I will say one thing, uh, so the exclusive for Target, which as you probably know by now, Target is now out of Canada, uh, along with now Future Shop as of yesterday. Uh, so we've got Rosalina and Luma. So this one uh, was very difficult to get, and I know a lot of people are still looking for this one to add to your collection. Uh, I actually ordered this one from PlayAsia.com in Japan. Uh, so this is actually Rosetta and Chico instead of Rosalina and Luma. 
Um, it's actually the same thing in Amiibo or region free, so that worked to my advantage. However, I ended up paying $19 for this with shipping included. Not a bad price, but higher than retail. Um, ended up getting the Best Buy uh, exclusive Meta Knight from uh, the Kirby world. Uh, I really like Meta Knight as a character. I think he's one of the coolest looking characters. Um, the Amiibo, he has some cool, uh, he, he looks like he's old. Um, people were, some people were complaining about that online, saying like, why does he look dirty? Well, he's supposed to be dirty, okay? So just relax. Um, but Meta Knight, the Best, Knight, uh, uh, best Buy uh, uh, exclusive. We've got Shulk uh, from Xenoblade. And uh, he was the Electronics Boutique slash GameStop for all you uh, US watchers. Um, he was the exclusive for that. Uh, ended up getting those ones all at retail because I was quick on the pre-order. And Lucario, the Toys R Us exclusive. Now, Toys R Us website, uh, <laughs> you go on there, it would say it's available, you click on Add to Cart, and then it keeps on saying, no, it's not available. So it was frustrating for a lot of people. Uh, Lucario is one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, uh, I was playing as, uh, he's on my team with uh, on Pokemon X. Um, he was tough to get. I missed out on him from, from Toys R Us in Canada. Ended up getting him from PlayAsia.com and uh, also cost me about $19 or so. Um, but managed to get, get that one. And uh, that's all of Wave 3. Now, I'm going to say that uh, so recently, uh, what's this game? Kirby and the Rainbow Curse came out. Now, Kirby from Wave 1 was relatively easy to get. I know if you're in the UK, apparently Kirby was the ultimate rare amiibo, which boggles my mind because every time I go to the store, he's there. But um, that game is compatible with King DDD, which is very hard to get, and Meta Knight, which is an exclusive. Now, um, I thought that that's pretty cool that I've got both so that I can actually see what it does in the game. Uh, it, it is a pretty neat game, but uh, it's very Nintendo-esque, which it's a little bit childish, but still, I like that that, uh, that Nintendo keeps it that way, and Nintendo tries to keep uh, sort of what you enjoyed about Nintendo as a child uh, in, uh, ongoing into their, their current video games. Um, so, I've got both of those, and... Um, there you have it, that's Wave 3, and I think that Nintendo is going to continue to do things uh, moving forward, like for instance, uh, the gold Super Mario Brothers, uh, Mario Amiibo, uh, extremely tough to get, um, it's already out in the US, it launches apparently April 10th, 2015 in Canada, uh, I have yet to find a successful pre-order, because apparently, I've been checking every single day on every website, Pre-order was open for five minutes. I missed out because I worked for a living. Uh, so I'm going to have to try and figure out what to do with that. Hopefully I can find it not for more than retail. Um, but man, buying all these Amiibo, it's it, it's quite tolling. When you do the math, you have to think. So, so far uh, of the Smash Brothers series, there's 29 Amiibo available. Again, uh, Wave 4, I'm still looking for pre-orders to open up for Wave 4. Uh, I am going to get every single one. Uh, I promised myself that. And you just gotta think, there's there's 50 characters, I think, in, in Smash Brothers. Uh, Mew's coming out, there's gonna be more. And they're at, they're right now in Canada, so it's still March. They're at $13.99 a piece. Now the Canadian dollar has been going down. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's causing this, but what's gonna happen, they've already announced that the Canadian retailers, uh, the price is apparently gonna go up to $15.99 a piece. Wow. Now you imagine, uh, fifteen ninety nine times fifty just for the Smash Brothers collection. That's a lot of money. Uh, then we're talking about Super Mario Brothers collection has now been introduced. What other collections are they going to introduce? Animal Crossing. No doubt they're going to do that. Pokemon. I think there's like seven hundred and fifty Pokemon. I'm going to die. I'm going to get out of money. I work hard, and all that money I make, I'm thinking about buying a house. Probably I'm going to end up not buying a house, it's just going to be all Amiibo, and live in an igloo or something because I'm in Canada. Man, there you have it. <laughs> I know what you're saying. So if you got, if you, whether you're young or old and you're watching, money's money. And I know that even myself, that, you know, we make, Hoon and I make a pretty good living, we work hard for our money, but... 
at the same time, when's this ever going to end? And you're right. You know way more than I do. I mean, yeah, Pokemon alone, there's so many. I mean, really, how many are they going to do? I guess as soon as the demand dries up, that's when they're going to stop. Now, uh, if you... That's not going to happen. You really are? I know. Fair demand's enough. It's going to continue. And I uh, just wanted to also shout out Call of Duty Advanced War for one of the best Call of Duties ever. My clan uh, is in Platinum Division, just so you know. But anyway. Cool, man. So, again, if you guys are wondering... You know how much you know how much it's going to cost, and if you do the math, like Kunu was saying, plus the rarities and the exclusives and the online Amazon, it's it's in the hundreds and probably not even thousands. But with that, if you guys wanted to know what it would be like if you spent all your money and you didn't work maybe as much, this is what there is the result when you actually buy the amiibos. And I have to tell you, kids, I bought the Princess Peach one. I lost everything. I live in my car now. Don't buy them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's top tier arcade. So again, top tier always supporting the homeless, always number one. So thanks to guys for choosing top tier again. Huda, thanks again for sharing it. Uh, we're going to be back with wave four, and later on the uh, you said the Smash Brothers or sorry the uh, Super the Super Mario right? Super Mario Brothers uh, series is now out, and uh, so far I've got all of them except the Gold Mario because it's not out yet, but. Uh, I'm going to eventually get it one way or another and just hope, hopefully I don't have to spend more than retail. Um, but uh, that's, that's, that's what it is. I, I, I don't want to become a hoarder, but I'm kind of forced to. Like, what am I going to do with all these things once I buy them all? And they're never going to stop. And then on top of that, got all the games, got all the consoles, got everything. One day I'm going to, my, the end of my life is going to be when there's an earthquake and all the games bury me and then that'll be, that'll be the end. And that's poetic. So with that being said, all the best, guys. Thanks again for checking out Top Tier. It's Steve signing off. Huna signing off, and we're good for Peace. this video, man. All right, later. Peace.